Hey, good morning. I'm Lou Adzema. I'm out here at the spa this morning. And what I want to show you is this bracket assembly that I've built to hold the lift mechanism for the spa. What happened was that the um, bolts actually pulled the plywood loose from the spa. It was only 3 8 inch plywood, very flimsy. So I knew I couldn't attach it. So I had to build this uh, post and angle out here to hold this bracket. So if you stick around, I'll show you how I build it. The first thing I did was weld this stanchion up, put this crossbar on it and a 45 degree support. This mechanism was screwed to the thin, uh, it's like 3 8 of an inch paneling that's on the side of the spa. And this is a very heavy uh, jacuzzi cover, it's a six person jacuzzi. So when this thing lifted, it put a lot of strain on the mounting screws. And what I'm trying to do is put this metal support up here so that I can attach this bracket and it will be supported by this post. So the first thing I have to do is get this situated so that I can drill holes for the mounting screws. And what I plan to do is try to clamp this on here. In the approximate position where it's going to be so that I can locate those holes. Unfortunately, it looks like it needs to be up higher. <clears throat> to match the other side, this needs to be up almost level. So this will give me the opportunity to locate where the screw holes are going to be. So back in the shop, I drilled the holes in the upper support plate. And once I had them all drilled, I ground the back off because of the burrs that were created from the drill bit. I inserted quarter 20 bolts and nuts. Cinched them up tight, then welded the nuts onto the back of the plate. And this allowed me to then attach the lift mechanism to the bolts. And I did give it a test lift to see if it was going to function correctly with the bracket mounted to the brace. And everything seemed to work okay. So I removed the bracket again, 
took it back to the shop, rounded off some corners of sharp metal, and I also welded the cap onto the post, finished up the welds, and painted it. So with the unit painted, I reinstalled it again, hoping that this was going to be the last time that I'd have to take it out. And fortunately it was. With the base mounted to the ground, I then reinstalled the lifting mechanism to the upper bar. I think I spent more time trying to figure out how to make this thing work than it actually took to build. But I was happy to have it done. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe. And if you enjoyed it, pass it on to somebody else that you think might enjoy it. Thanks for watching.